Hi, and welcome to Rock Instruments. I'll play this while I'm talking. A typical lineup in rock and pop music is vocalist, backing vocalist, lead and rhythm guitar, bass guitar and drums. Sometimes a keyboard instrument or saxophone is also added. Some styles of rock music include instruments such as violins, trumpets, trombones, among many others. Now this particular sample is by Buddy Holly and he was the first rock band or rock guitarist and musician to do the typical lineup we know today of two guitars, bass guitar, the, all the guitarists play, um, perform the vocals, backing vocals, and a drummer. The electric guitar. In rock music it has two main roles, lead and rhythm. The lead guitar performs all of the technical or fancy motifs in the music as well as the solo. The rhythm guitar generally plays chords as well as any chordal riffs. Whoops, I'll go back a page, sorry. thought there was another bit there. Here's an example of what the uh, electric guitar sounds like. Here's a very famous guitar riff. There was a friend of mine on murder. And the judges gathered fell. Jury found him guilty. Even 16 years in hell. The bass guitar. In rock music, the bass guitar has two main functions, rhythm and melodic accompaniment. The bass guitar often performs on the beat with the drums. It provides support for the melody and other melodic instruments by usually playing notes from the chord triads. This is often the root or tonic note. It is also sometimes the performer of the main riff. Here's an example of a bass guitar performed as pizzicato. Here's an example of bass guitar performed slapping. Here is a very famous riff performed by the bass guitar by Queen. Vocalists and backing vocalists. The vocalist sings the melody in the rock songs. They can be any voice from soprano through to bass. The backing vocalist provides emphasis to the main melody. Sometimes the backing vocals provide harmony to the melody. This is an example by the Beach Boys and they um, there's a main melody plus three other vocalists in here providing harmonies. Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around, round, round, I get around. Drums. In rock music, the drum kit is usually an acoustic one. In pop music, it can be an electric drum kit. Both have one main function, to provide the beat and driving force behind the music. In rock music, they usually perform a form of syncopation called a backbeat. The backbeat emphasises beats two and four of the bar. The acoustic drum kit. It consists of a bass drum, which sounds like this.
a snare drum which sounds like this with brushes and here it is played with sticks hi-hats which are two cymbals um, joined together The tom toms, which are the two drums at the top, as well as the floor toms, is included in this bow arm little sample. And then there are the cymbals. There's the crash and the ride cymbal. The electric drum kit has the same parts as an acoustic drum kit. The only difference is in that it can produce a variety of electronic sounds depending on the settings. And here's an example of what it sounds like. It is used more in pop music. Rock keyboards. In rock music, the keyboard serves as two main roles. Firstly, it is used as support for the melody and um, as, melodic, as melodic accompaniment. Sorry. And secondly, it can be used as a soloist. The rock keyboard can be a piano, electric piano, organ or synthesizer. The piano and the electric piano. Both instruments perform the same roles. They sound different because of the natural differences in how a sound is produced. Here's the sound of a piano. Here's an electric piano. organ and synthesizer. They perform the same roles as the piano. The differences in sound come from the, um, the type of instrument played. So here's what a rock organ sounds like. And a synthesizer can sound like anything, but here it's being played to sound like a panpipe. Rock soloists. They can be any instrument, such as the saxophone, trumpet, electric guitar, electric bass guitar, piano, keyboard, vocalist, or drum kit. And that's the end.